Hello and welcome back to Fitness Friday with Johnny Tiger. Date is March 15, 2024, and this episode is sponsored by Hidden Corner Finds and TigerTactile.com. Yes, I do have to promote my own business once in a while. And for those of you who have not checked out TigerTactile.com and uh, or you haven't seen it for a while, go check it out. Or look at that piece of artwork that I just uploaded uh, earlier today in that short video. Uh, that will give you an idea. And there are so many more at Tiger Tactile uh, alongside with artist files, uh, my other activities in the professional art world. Uh, you can subscribe to the website and you will get updates whenever new artwork is added. And if you want to purchase any artwork, all you have to do is send me an email using the link provided there on the website. I also uh, recently completed a new uh, FAQ section, Frequently Asked Questions section, for those of you who may have questions about how it works. So uh, today I thought about doing a video on how to strengthen your lower back. Because that is very important. We work so much on our arms and our chest and our shoulder, and then our upper body get heavier and heavier and heavier. And you know one thing about today's society is people tend to sit a lot. You drive, you're sitting down, you're at work, you're sitting down, um, you're waiting for the bus, you're sitting down, you're taking the bus, you're sitting down. You spend the majority of the day, if not sleeping, you're sitting down. Uh, and that is very detrimental to your lower back. And it's so important to build up your lower back so when you get older, uh, you don't even have to get old, you just get older, you're not going to end up having to go get injections in your spine because your lower back is not strong enough to carry this heavy, heavy upper body uh, and all the uh, heavy stuff <laughs> around it. Um, so it is very important. So I thought to myself, I think I might have done that episode already. So I started looking back in the past episode, and indeed we have. There was a video called Nine Ways to Strengthen Your Lower Back, but that was three years ago. So I think it is time to revisit this topic. So today we're going to look at five simple exercises anyone can attempt, all right? Well, almost almost anyone. I mean, you know, if you're in a wheelchair, we might have to customize some of these. Uh, but it's very simple. You don't need any special equipment. You don't need to be in a padded cell, <laughs> padded room uh, uh, to do these. You can do them pretty much anywhere. You, you can, well, I mean, some of them you have to lay down on the floor, so hopefully you're doing them somewhere safe and somewhere clean. But they're very simple. We're going to start by showing you the one that you don't have to uh, be laying down or sitting down, and then we are going to go down to the floor. Okay, the first one is very simple. This one is called "Good Morning" uh, or "Forward Bend." Uh, this is how I think of it: is a forward bend. But people today want to call it "Good Morning." I don't know why. Uh, so, how do you perform "Good Morning" or "Forward Bend"? You stand with feet. Shoulder width apart. Normally, I would recommend you put your backside against a stable structure to give yourself additional leverage, because it is easy to hurt yourself if you get the wrong form with this one, especially when you start to perform it with weights in your hand. But for this exercise, for this video, we are going to start without weights in our hand. Okay. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a progression from a beginner level to a little bit more advanced. In the beginning, all you need to do is find somewhere like a wall to park your behind against, and then stand with your feet shoulder width apart, keep your hands down by your side, on the outside of your leg, outside of your side. Bend forward at the waist. As you bend, your hand will travel down to touching your calf. 
Okay, make sure your knees are not locked out. Make sure there's a little bit of bend in your knees so you're not hyperextending your knees. So that's all you do. You bow forward, lean forward at the waist, allowing your neck and your upper spine to stay as straight and natural and relaxed as you can. So don't round your back, okay? Don't round your back when you bend forward. It should be almost like a 90 degree straight down and then up when you come up imagine you're pushing into the ground with the heel of your feet to drive your upper body back up straight now imagine you're pushing the ground away from you using your feet okay so we want to do this nice and easy not too slow not too fast down up down up down, up, down, up, okay? This is very good for your lower back, but you want to avoid curving your spine, and you don't want to lock out your knee when you do this, right? Very important to keep this very, everything relatively straight and tight. Once you are comfortable with this beginner version, then you can do this while having your arms above your head, okay? So now I lift my arm above my head and I bend forward and I come up. This will add a little bit more weight to your upper body and make it a better workout. So I am keeping my arms above my head the whole time while I'm doing this, okay? Now, of course, once you're even more comfortable with this, now, now you're a pro at Good Morning, then it's time to add a little bit of weight. I wouldn't say add a lot of weight. Don't grab something that's too, too heavy. I'm trying to think what do I have around here that is good for that. Um, let me grab the kettlebell. And we have a nice little kettlebell. That should be uh, pretty perfect for this. Yeah, this is like a 12 pound kettlebell. And even this is a little bit on the heavy side for, for good morning, okay? So you hold this either to your chest or above your head if you can. To your chest is easier, okay? So depending on your com uh, comfort level, right? We can do this above the head. And then we stand, feet shoulder width apart. We good morning, bow forward, and come back up. Forward and up. Forward and up. Okay, so that will add more to it's it's you're basically lifting weight with your lower back. This, this is a little bit like a, like a um, tricep extension, except in this case, it's your lower back doing all the work. Now I'm going to adjust the camera down to the floor level, because for the next four exercises, we're going to go down to the floor. So excuse me for a second. Now we go down to the floor. We're going to go down to our hands and knee. Okay, go down to our hands and knee. Almost like a plank, but not a plank. Okay, this one, we're going to do some bird dog. I mean, bird dog. This is also very good for lower back and really good for training your balance as well. So from your knee, be on your hands and knee, lift one leg and the opposite arm off the floor until they are straight. So I'm lifting my right leg. So right leg off the ground, so right leg is straight. And I lift my left hand, so left hand is straight. So now I'm balancing on my right hand and left knee. Hold it for like one, two, three seconds. Put them down, lifting the right arm this time and left leg this time 
balance, balancing on right knee and left hand. One, two, three. Put them down. Left arm go up. Right leg go up. One, two, three. Come back down. Right arm go up. Left arm, left leg go up. One, two, three. Come down. Left arm go up. Right leg go up. One, two, three. Come down. Right arm go up. Left leg go up. One, two, three. Just like that. Okay. This one is good in several ways. Like I said, it, the action of lifting your leg will activate your lower back, but at the same time, the need to make yourself stay balanced、um, and the constant changing of balance train your core muscle to respond. As I mentioned this before. Any kind of exercise that require you to balance is good for your core because that is what your body uses to balance yourself. Exercise number three, dead bug. This is almost the same as the bird dogs that we just did, except we are going to flip over to our back. We're going to lay down on our back. Bring your arms. Up in the air, like you're pointing at the ceiling. Keep your elbows straight. Bring your legs up in the air, keeping a little bit of a bend in your knees. So now you are laying here with your arms and your legs sticking up in the air like a dead bug. This is why we call dead bug. Okay. Now, just like the bird dog, we're going to move the opposite arm and the opposite leg. So my right arm is going to go toward the floor, so toward my head, toward the floor. And my left leg is going to drop towards the floor, as well. And so now I'm laying here with my left arm and right leg sticking up in the air. My right arm and left leg are straight, north to south, almost touching the ground. Okay. Again, I hold it. One, two, three. Come back in. So now return to your starting position. All four limbs sticking up into the air. Now right leg go down, left arm go down. One, two, three. Come back up. Left leg go down, right arm go down. One, two, three. Come back up. Right leg go down, left arm go down. One, two, three. Come back up. Left leg go down, right arm go down. One, two, three. When you do this, it is very important to make sure that your lower back is not lifting off the floor. So make sure you put all your weight into your belly button and press that belly button back toward your spine to drive your、uh, spine, the your lower back into the floor and tilt your pelvis up a little bit. Right. So your lower back should not come off the floor when you do this. Next. Now, exercise number four. This is possibly one of、uh, my personal favorite. Superman. I know you don't need to be a superman to do this. This is actually really good for you and easy to do. Right? Superman. Lay down on the floor with your arms stick out in front of you and your leg straight. So you're basically in that pose with like Superman flying through the air. Your arms are in front, your legs are behind. You're like a Straight line on the floor, basically. Okay. Now, press your、uh, stomach and chest into the floor and lift your arm and leg off the floor. Don't bend your elbow or knee. Okay. You're lifting from the shoulder and hip, not your elbow and knee. Keep your elbow and knee relatively straight. So keep lift them up off the floor. One, two, three, down. Up. One, two. Three down, up one, two, three down, up one, two, three down. So when I go up, only my belly and chest should be touching the floor. Okay. Now Superman has so many fun things you can do. You can、uh, do arms only. That will work your upper back. So 
let's say I keep my legs on the on the floor. I like to bring my legs in, so I open my legs wider and bring my heel towards my butt, and this will keep my legs grounded. I only lift my arm off the ground. One, two, three, down. One, two, three, down. One, two, three, down. Okay, and then you can do the reverse, right? You can uh, lift leg only and leave your arms on the floor. One, two, three, down. One, two, three, down. One, two, three, down. Or you can do it like the beginning, lift arms and legs together. You can even combine this with the bird dog. So you can do one arm and one leg only for Superman. So I can lay here in Superman pose and only my uh, left arm and right leg go up. One, two, three, switch. 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 You can do it that way too, okay? Also, uh, we've done this before many times. You can incorporate your uh, push-up into your Superman and turn it into Superman push-up. And for people who hate push-up, this is like God's gift, right? This is so much easier. And all it is, is we're going to do one Superman, arm and leg go up, one, two, three, and when you come down, do a push-up. And then when you come down from the push-up, do a Superman. One, two, three, push-up. One, two, three, push-up. One, two, three, push-up. One, two, three, push-up. Just like that, right? Some people that tell me they can't do push-up, when I introduce them to Superman push-up, in a very short time, they're able to crank out like a hundred push-up. No problem. See? Last but not least, the, our number five exercise that's good for your lower back is the Russian twist. In the beginning, you might want to uh, sit on the floor. So you, when you sit on the floor and you want to wedge your feet under something. That's the easiest, okay? And then you recline your body. So you're leaning back almost 45 degrees. Keep your arm either in front of you or out to the side like a T. And then you just turn your upper body, keeping your lower body still. Turn to the right, back to central, turn to the left, back to central. All the while, we uh, retain that backward lean. Okay, don't sit up straight. When you sit up straight, you dump the uh, tension from your lower back, and it's not uh, benefiting you, right? As you get more comfortable, you can graduate from having your feet under something to having your feet on the wall or on a chair. Again, maintain that backward lean, twist to the right, back to neutral, twist to the left, back to neutral, twist to the right, back to neutral, twist to the left, back to neutral, twist to the right, back to neutral. Okay? And eventually, eventually, you'll be comfortable enough to do this with just your leg on the floor. You don't need to put it under anything or on top of anything. Okay, you can just have your leg bent in front of you uh, with your feet on the floor. Okay, lean back, twist, 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 okay? And then, when you are re really comfortable with even that, then it's time to do this with your leg off the floor. That is the hardest one because you have to really balance really good to not tip over, right? Russian twist can be performed with weight in your hand as well. 
Okay, so I got the kettlebell. I got my feet on the floor. I'm leaning back. I twist to the right. Twist back to the front. Twist to the left. Twist back to the front. Twist to the right. Twist back to the front. Twist to the left. And if you want to add even more dynamic to your muscle growing, when you twist, when you have weight, when you're twisting, bring the weight down towards the floor. You don't actually have to put it on the floor. Just bring it down towards the floor. Bring it up, twist the other side. Bring it towards the floor. Bring it up, twist. 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 It's like you're dipping. You're dipping that weight towards the floor without putting it down. I want to uh, caution you guys, like any muscles, when you start first start working your lower back, you are probably going to wake up next day and your lower back is going to be really, really sore. So don't overdo it in the beginning. Give it time to develop. Otherwise, you'll really hate me next day. Thank you for checking out today's episode. I'll be back again tomorrow for Survival Saturday.